Hello students, I am Tonmoy. I welcome you all on my channel Chemistry and History of Molecules. So today we will discuss about Tisenko reaction, which is a aldehyde to ester preparation, and actually we will discuss about example. In the previous video, I have explained about the basic concept and mechanism and differences with Kanijaro reaction, which often many students get confused. I have explained that in details, and I have gave an overview about the Tisenko reaction for industrial preparation of acetylene. Uh, sorry, ethyl acetate because it's a ester preparation reaction. So please see that video; it will be very helpful for you. So after that, you come to this video if you haven't seen that. So let's start about this. Very this discussion. Okay. So as I discussed in the previous video, I am not going to explain the mechanism again. But I will give you a very brief description how this reaction happens. This reaction actually a Lewis acid mediated uh, reaction means. For example, what do I mean? In this reaction, this aluminium we know is a Lewis acid six electron species. Okay. So Lewis acid electron division, although this oxygen has lone pair and it uh, forms a pair back bonding p pi p pi and ultimately the electron deficient means sorry I made mistake not p pi but p pi d pi because vacant d orbital of aluminium. Uh, okay, so through back bonding this oxygen uh, coordinates to this aluminium and reduces the electron de deficiency of aluminium, but it is not completely electron deficient means its deficiency is not completely weight okay it has some deficiency consequently what happened this oxygen goes coordinates first after this this oxygen became plus for example if you think that in this way it's donating so it will be one formal plus charge will be this and minus charge will be aluminium right now this is more electron deficient this oxygen this carbon so consequently another carbon another oxygen of this aldehyde will come and attack oxygen acting as oxygen of aldehyde is acting as a nucleophile so because of this coordination extreme electron deficiency after that one three hydride shift happened from here to that carbonyl because that is also coordinated means if we draw that that will be like that that this is oxygen this is r this is h so after means donation in this way this will open so this deficiency will be weight but this oxygen will be formally positive charge high electron division consequently this bond will be pushed means here and this hydride will migrate and in this way this reaction will occur for details please go through the first video so this is done and in this way this will be produced so one tricks i want to say you that always keep it in mind whatever aldehyde is given okay so you remove this hydrogen means let me clean it first otherwise it may be confusing for you so if this aldehyde is given first you draw the aldehyde after that remove that hydrogen okay and put one oxygen and reduce another aldehyde you can see this is the half part this is the half part and this is so one is oxidized to carboxylic acid one part is reduced so and in this context i want to mention i have made another video about kanijaro reaction where kanijaro reaction is replaced for one step ester preparation please go through that because then you will have a complete understanding as well as difference between kanijaro and this tisenko both are uh, apparently have some similarity but lots of difference and it is essential for you to understand in order to enjoy these two chemistry okay fine so in this way you write now let's discuss about the second example see first example we have used aluminium ethoxide and in the second example we are using aluminium so it is okay that we know that aluminium ethoxide fine we have discussed about the mechanism how alumina is working alumina is working similarly but alumina is not that much electron deficient like that it's a, it's a solid uh, uh, solid phase catalysis but industry prefer to use such catalysis because of its robustness and reusability for many catalytic cycles okay so it is happening similarly like this aluminium 3 plus center is acting as a catalyst and following same procedure and as i told that first draw this part you have drawn this part second remove the hydrogen and put oxygen and write this means 
this one step is carboxylic acid and one is methylene so one part oxidized reduced so in this way this is also done so now the next example is interesting as i told in my previous video that not only aluminum it boron can use as acid catalyst because so because this boron is in plus in plus 3 and it's a 6 electron species similar like aluminum lewis acid fine so this is also a lewis acid so Lewis acid means it can coordinate and activate. So that is happening. And here you can see this second example is about a paraformaldehyde. Okay. This is this reagent is named as paraformaldehyde. Why? Means you this is like paraformaldehyde. Why paraformaldehyde? Because formaldehyde is gas. HCHO very low molecular weight and this is gas but it remains in but this polymeric this is this is, is a solid material so it is easier to carry formaldehyde on this and this is nothing but this is nothing but an acid okay it's an acetal molecule so at this end are open you can consider this end and hemiacetal but intermediate things are acid it's a polymeric network so under this reaction tradition, this is a Lewis acid mediated. So reverse of this acetal acetal breakage happens, and from this formaldehyde is produced. Okay. So when formaldehyde produced condition is similar, means an aldehyde is produced, and in the reaction medium there is a Lewis acid. So similarly, like aluminium, this also coordinates to BOH3. Okay, so this is minus, this is plus, and following similar mechanism like the aluminium center catalyzed, this also reacts and ultimately end up with this methyl format. Okay, what do I mean? This formaldehyde means this, as I told, this right one part, one part you have written, then oxygen and another part should be reduced, means methyl I have written, you may write think that for understanding CH2. CH2 this carbon will be reduced to CH2 and 1 H at SOH. So this is equivalent to CH3. Fine? Fine. Now you see another example. This is example number 4. Here similar reaction condition is used. But because of this, this required less time. But these require more time. Okay. Difference is this. More time. Why? Because if you see formally it is a very less molecule because this is hydrogen. But you see, this is a dimethyl acetaldehyde. So because of this two methyl group bulkness increases, and if bulkness is increases, what do I mean? If bulkness is increases, then actually it's a one three hydride shift, hydride shift from another. So this hydride shift will be difficult. Okay, because of this, as and for in this context, I want to mention I have made a video about body image trajectory, which will explain this bulkness factor precisely. So, if you haven't seen that, please go through that. So, this that's why this requires more time for this reaction. Okay, so this indicates that all the factors influential for this reaction, and actually, if I say all are variant of aldol condensation. Aldol is the parent reaction. So if you understand aldol properly, there should not be that much problem. Yeah, it's true that it's a new type, but not difficult to understand. So always try to understand aldol condensation and bioluminous trajectory properly. It will be helpful. Now the question this. What is the interesting about this? This is acrylate. Okay. Or you can say acrylate. So, this molecule, if you see, this is a CH2 means 2 hydrogen and this is. And this molecule has a canonical form. What do I mean? This bond will push, it will open. So, what could be possible? This is hydrogen, this is hydrogen, this is plus, this, this is, this is O minus. But if you consider a simple carbonyl compound in this way, then carbonyl compound has only one canonical form in this way it goes. And it produces this oxygen minus this plus. So compared to that, this carbonyl has a that structure along with that another canonical form possible. Okay. Means what do I mean? You can think that here also possible. This double bond is intact, and this is O minus, this is plus. 
but this plus is delocalized at this center. So, what is the simple consequence? Simple consequence that this is less electrophilic. This is less electrophilic compared to this simple carbon. So, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound, this is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound are less electrophilic than this. That's why even this uh, Kanijaro reaction, because Kanijaro reaction is no hydrogen, alpha means no alpha hydrogen. You can argue that there is alpha hydrogen, but that is not sp3, so it could not be analyzed. So, this should participate in Kanijaro reaction, but in normal condition it doesn't participate because of this less electron deficiency. But, this reaction is so much efficient that this reaction could be achieved under this condition. This is the interesting part of this. And in this context, I want to give you another example, which is phenyl acetaldehyde, phenyl acetylene, this aldehyde. And if you put base, means alkyl, base means alkali, then what you can expect? Then can your reaction will happen? So one part will be oxidized to carboxylic acid and one part will be oxidized to, uh, reduced to CH2H. But this doesn't happen. Instead of that, what it produces? It produces PHC triple bond C H and formate O minus. Wow. Means why and how this is ha how this happened? Because see this is similar like this, so resonance possible. So this is not that much electron deficient. Second, another part is that, please keep this example in my, uh, mind, that this attacks, opens, what we expect, that hydride shift will happen. Here, instead of hydride shift, this comes up, means this PHCCC. Now, why this is carbon ion yeah, is coming out instead of hydride? Because we know that in case of this SP, this is relatively stable. It is not that much reactive like butyl lithium sp 3 car uh, carbon ion, but this is relatively stable. That's why this produces and another thing means uh, in this way this produces and this part means this aldehyde is converted into this. This hydrogen was previous as now this is OH from alkali. And what happens? This is acidic and this is basic. This abstract this proton producing this format and this phenylacetylene. So, this is another important example. Please keep this fact in mind. Okay. So, now we will discuss the last example. And this is also little unique. Why I am saying unique? Because here you can see magnesium oxide is used as a catalyst. Okay. Magnesium is also electron, uh, means Lewis acidic in nature. But it is, it, it can also perform this job. Previously, in my previous video, where I have explained about the examples of Kanijaro reaction, I have displayed that this aldehyde, in presence of strong alkali, undergo intramolecular Kanijaro reaction to prepare the same compound. I repeat, intramolecular Kanijaro reaction to prepare the same compound. But you can think it may following that. Instead of that, generally for Kanijaro reaction, we use sodium hydroxide, which or KOH, which produces HO minus. And instead of that, here we are using magnesium oxide. So maybe magnesium oxide is producing magnesium hydroxide, which is an alkali. Plus that, uh, okay, fine. But see, the reaction is done under benzene. Benzene. So not this possible. Okay. So here no alkali is there. So don't be confused. This is only the Lewis acetic property of magnesium 2 plus is responsible for this conversion. How this is happening? So you may think that, so this is a carbonyl, this is hydride. So, and another thing, this is also hydride. So first this will donate this electron density to this magnesium or MgO with magnesium 2 plus center because it's electron deficient. So this is, and after that this becomes this became minus, similarly this became plus. Now it is highly electron deficient and you may think that okay, there is a benzene attached to it. So benzene can perform in resonance. But 
there is there are two aldehyde it is electron deficient okay so that factor is not that much important or contributing to reduce the electron deficiency of this center so consequently what happened this is highly electron deficient this is highly electron deficient so what happens that at this condition at this condition this oxygen means if I write this in little different way it will be helpful for you. So this oxygen can also means this oxygen can attack here. Fine. So what it will produce? It will produce now this is O mg to mgo fine minus and you may you can see that this is right now double bond o and h and this is attached to this so formal positive charge on this and this is the hydrogen so similarly what happened this oxygen pushes this electron and these hydride migrates and this so in this way this is opens so what will be the product after that this is this this is double bond right now also coordinated to magnesium but that coordination is not that much like this oxygen that much strong because it's so electron rich so it can push this electron density more to the magnesium center but right right now donation is little less so you may think the fact that like there is a no coordination bond so this oxygen and this here two hydrogen means CH2 this is nothing but this so this example proves that here the process is happening through Trisenko not Kanijan because no base okay so I guess you have understood about these examples so what we have discussed today we have discussed about few examples regarding this Trisenko reaction where we have seen that al aluminium alkoxide can perform this conversion not only aluminium alkoxide alumina can perform this aldehyde to ester conversion that tricks for this element uh, tricks to write the final product from the starting aldehyde second we have also observed the use of boric acid as a lewis acid for the conversion of aldehyde into corresponding ester not only this boric acid we have also observed that the alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound which are not that much electron deficient that can undergo this reaction to prepare the final product and the most importantly not only magnesium sorry uh, aluminium 3 plus magnesium 2 plus or magnesium oxide can also perform is capable to perform this Trisenko reaction to produce this finally cyclic ester or lactone fine so this is the end of the discussion if you like my teaching please give a like and share this video among your friends so that many people could be benefited from my effort and finally Please try to support my channel and spread it as much as possible because it encourages me uh, to make new new videos for you. And finally, please press the bell icon to get the notification of every single video I upload. See you in my next video. Stay happy, stay blessed, all the best.